Hey y'all, Gary Cocker back here again, here in the uh, uh, here in the man cave, and I'm working on a three quarter size fiddle, what some people like to call a violin, but here in the south we call them fiddles. But uh, I got this violin yesterday at a flea or not a flea market, but a yard sale, right across the river here from. Me. Well, I was after the case, and I did not know that all this was in it, really. But uh, it was just parts in there all thrown together. But it, it was almost a complete fiddle, minus the bow and minus the bridge. And the bridge is one of these right here. This holds up your strings up off the body. That's what resonates from the strings through this to the body that makes the sound. Well, there's a procedure you have to go through when you put a new bridge on. And when these come new, they come way oversized. I'm going to give you a comparison there what how much you have to cut off. And also, you got to shape the feet to the fiddle, which I've already done on this one. I bought two bridges, in case I messed up, because I do that a lot. Trial and error, what it is. But I've already cut this bridge down, as you can see, right there. And I'll tell you the parts of the bridge. This is what was told to me. And it makes sense. You got to have a living body on the fiddle before it can play. It's got life in it. Now, this right here, these right here, that's called the lungs. Right there. The lungs. These are called the kidneys. If you take a good look at it, they do look like a kidney. Right there. But like I said, those are the lungs. And these are the kidneys on both sides. But, uh, yeah, I have to cut this down, which I already got it cut down. And I'm already starting to size it. But also, what you have to do, you have to thin them down. Uh, by thinning them down, you have to bring the edge of it real thin. Now, I'll show you what a new one looks like comparison. New one's pretty thick going across this right here. Comparison to a one that's already been cut down, as you can see. So, I have to take this one here and thin it down. So, it will play correctly on there. So, I'm going to be doing that, but I'll give you an update on But, like I said, this... Bridge right here was too short. I had to put shims under it, which is not very correct way to do it. You know, putting the shims right under, right there, like under the feet. That's not the way you do it. But I, I've done that because I wanted to see what the playability was and what it sounded like. And I played it in church there, and everybody seemed to like the sound of it because it had that old time sound. Which a fiddle does. But, uh, yeah, I got to take and thin that down and get it placed on there and everything. It should sound a lot better when it's got full connection and full uh, touching of these feet right here on it. Like I said, these are the feet right here. And they got to make full contact almost on this body. I and mean, the way you do that, you rub it back and forth, you know, on sandpaper on the body. But I have a, I already have a form made for that. So I'll just give you a little update on this later on when I get it done and everything. Because like I said, it'll take a little time thinning this down. You got to be careful at it because this is maple and it will break easy. So y'all take care. God bless. Bye-bye.